you have mastered the algebraic multiplication the time has come that you become the king of the algebraic division as well so how fast can you divide these algebraic expressions that is you have to divide this huge polynomial with this linear binomial and yes you read it right you are getting 15 seconds to do that I really don't know why I'm being so generous to you this time I'm giving you 15 long seconds can you beat that if you know this is a trick then it would not take you more than 10 seconds start Your time is up, so let me do it. x cubed divided by x is x square, and you have the first term of the answer. Put plus 2 over here, plus 2x square minus 9x square is minus 7x square, so I'll put minus 7x. And this is the second term of the answer plus 2 times minus 7x is minus 14x, minus 14x plus 17x is plus 3x. So I'll put plus 3 and this is my final answer. In case you want to know the remainder, I can even tell you that. Plus 2 times plus 3 is plus 6. Plus 6 minus 4 is plus 2. So the remainder is plus 2. Now, as you have just seen, using this very simple easy cal trick, I have managed to divide this huge polynomial directly and that too with so much ease and I not only gave you the quotient I gave you the remainder as well how good is that so now tell me honestly are you impressed well if you are then don't be for the simple reason that very soon you would also be dividing even bigger polynomials than this in just few seconds let's first see the usual way of doing the algebraic division the name of the method is long division. You might already be using it. Now, as the name itself is long division, so you know what to expect. You start by dividing the first term of the dividend by the first term of the divisor. x cube divided by x will give us x square. In case you are wondering, how did I get x square on dividing x cube with x? I just use the laws of exponents. I'll just put it down for you. x cube divided by x. As per the laws of exponents, in division, you simply subtract the powers when the bases are same. So the power of this x is 3 and the power of this x is 1. There is an invisible one there. So since we are dividing it, we'll simply subtract the powers. This will become 3 minus 1, which is nothing but x squared. And that is what I had put over there. But I'm sure you can do that directly. You don't need to put down these steps. Now, whatever term you put here at the top, you have to multiply that with all the terms of the divisor. That means you're going to multiply this x squared with this x and also with this minus 2. And whatever you get after that multiplication, you're going to put it here. x squared times x is x cubed. And x square times minus 2 is minus 2x square. Now you subtract these terms. Now you might be already aware that subtraction in algebra means changing the signs and then adding the terms. Since this is plus x cube, so it will become minus x cube. We change the sign and this is minus 2x square, so it will become plus 2x square. This positive x cube and this negative x cube will cancel each other out so you strike it out minus 9x square plus 2x square is minus 7x square and you simply drop down these remaining terms so this is a new dividend and once again we repeat the same process that is we divide the first term of this new dividend by the first term of this divisor minus 7x square divided by x is minus 7x 
and once again we multiply this answer term with all the terms of the divisor minus 7x times x will give us minus 7x square minus 7x times minus 2 will give us plus 14x now once again you subtract it by changing the sign this is minus 7x square so it will become plus 7x square this is plus 14x so it will become minus 14x minus 7x square plus 7x square they cancel each other out and 17x minus 14x is 3x drop down this minus 4 so this is our new dividend and once again we repeat the same process again that is divide the first term of this new dividend with the first term of the divisor so 3x divided by this x is 3 so we put positive 3 there now multiply this 3 with all the terms of the divisor 3 times x is 3x and 3 times minus 2 is minus 6 and once again you subtract it by changing the sign this is plus 3x so it will become minus 3x this is minus 6 it will become plus 6 these terms cancel out this is minus 4 plus 6 which is plus 2 and finally we have solved this question so whatever is left here will be the remainder This answer that we have got at the top is called the quotient in technical terms. The polynomial that was being divided is known as the dividend. And the polynomial that was dividing is known as the divisor. Now it is interesting to note how the powers of x are gradually reducing in the quotient or the answer. See here it was x squared, here it became x to power 1 and here it disappeared completely. That means it must have become x to power 0. Now in case you found this method of long division really long and really complicated then let me tell you that whole world uses it to do their algebraic division if that makes you feel any better if that doesn't make you feel any better then this surely would for I'm going to make you fly directly to the answer without putting any of these steps how good is that